Hello, I am Chris Pickard and today I am going to bring you a story. The story of the Ferrari, the lamppost and the driver. And I'll tell you where I got that idea from and all about that in a moment. But first I'm going to tell you about half of the idea. It came from a psychologist, Jonathan Had Hate, I don't know how to pronounce his name, H-I-D-T, this is why I wrote it up. And he came up with a beautiful analogy called the elephant, the rider, and the path. And this is about your subconscious mind and the direction that you're going in. And the idea is that the rider is your conscious brain. And it's the rider that is trying to direct the elephant. The elephant is your subconscious brain, or your emotions maybe as well. Because let's face it, people do things emotionally. They do things out of habit. They do things subconsciously. For instance, if they're trying to lose weight but they can't stop eating cakes. Consciously, they know they need to stop. But the elephant, if it decides that it's gonna do something, it will do something. But what you can do is you can prepare the path. You can try and make the pathway, the way ahead, look as appealing as possible. There's many different ways to try and make the elephant go down the path. So the idea is that you can advise the rider, okay, so someone like a health coach can advise the rider to help steer the elephant and help you prepare the path. This is why we have a free 28 day health challenge, free at the moment anyway, which can help you actually prepare the path so you can actually get some more impetus into going in the right direction. So it's a beautiful analogy. I, I recommend you actually look up the elephant, the rider in the path and see some longer explanations. But the other day, I was listening to a podcast, the Energy Blueprint podcast. Excellent, excellent podcast. Again, if you're interested in health, you should listen to it by Ari Witten. And he was interviewing somebody that I sort of know uh, because he's a friend of a friend, a guy called Sachin Patel. And it, Sachin was talking about health and well-being, and he spoke about the Ferrari and the lamppost. And it kind of made me think of the elephant, the rider, and the path, but it's slightly different. So the driver, it is you. The Ferrari is your body. And the lamppost is the disease you are going to hit if you keep going down the same path. So for instance, most people today are likely to either get diabetes or heart disease or dementia or some form of cancer because that's just the, what the statistics say. It's about 70 to 90% of all disease in just those four things there. Lung disease as well. But we know that a lot of them, especially diabetes and heart disease, are very lifestyle oriented. It's not even genetics. Genetics only as a tiny small part. But most people, they are driving. They're having fun in the Ferrari and they are driving towards the lamppost. They even know they're gonna hit the lamppost, but they don't think it will happen to them. Now in normal medicine, so let's say you hit the lamp, well, let's say you hit the lamppost, you've got diabetes. Normal medicine will look at the lamppost, they'll look at the, the actual car, the Ferrari as well, they think, well, the Ferrari's broken, we need to fix the Ferrari, okay, and the lamppost's a problem, we need to get rid of the lamppost. In fact, if, if this car's gonna keep going, okay, we need to sort of give the car some kind of boost to make it keep going and we need to sort of keep on removing the lampposts. So let's like give you drugs to keep on lowering blood sugar in the case of diabetes and let's fix the body a little bit as well. But let's not change the driver and change direction. Whereas if you're a car, if you're if you're if you've just you know crashed a car, then yeah okay there might be something wrong with the car that caused you to crash but more than likely it was your own choices going out driving stupidly. It's the same when it comes to disease. Heart disease is the same as well. Apart from in heart disease, okay, you may have a heart attack. About 60% of people who have heart attacks and heart disease have high cholesterol, so that's the lamppost. If we just keep on removing all the lampposts, okay, you can just keep on driving onto the pavement, into houses, it can cause other problems. But also, let's just say we do something to the lamppost to make them softer, or we don't actually change where they are. So you keep on fixing the body, you're a Ferrari, you smash into one lamppost, we fix the body, you smash into the next lamppost. You, do, you keep getting worse because most of the drugs, what they're doing is they're protecting you 
from knowing that you've crashed the car, basically. What we propose to do here at Body Imbalance and so many healthcare providers around the, around the world, Ari Witten with the Energy Blueprint, Sachin Patel, the amazing Dr. Bob Rakowski, who I learned a Sachin Patel through as well, all trying to prevent people actually hitting the lampposts, but allowing you to enjoy your life. So if you want to know ways to help enjoy your life, then watch the videos, maybe join us on Facebook, or why not pop along to the clinic virtually as well, bodyimbalanceuk.com, sign up for some of our free programs and prevent yourself ever having to need us. Be well, be magnificent.